my allergies are hitting me really hard today, so I'm actually considering skipping all the festivities and just sending the dishes I made off to the barbecue with a friend of mine. I honestly am just not feeling like going out. I just would like to be home today, I think, unfortunately. Well, my migraine got the best of me, and I stayed home tonight. I've been sleeping most of the afternoon, just trying to get rid of this horrible headache. Um, so I'm watching the festivities, the fireworks display on TV tonight. It's a better view than I would have gotten going anywhere, so this doesn't bother me at all. Well, my migraine is gone right now, so I've decided I'd, I'll do a little bit of cooking while the temperature's low and while I don't feel so bad. So right, right now, what I'm doing is just making some quinoa zucchini fritters, and these I am going to freeze. I also just cooked up some corn also to have on hand for the week and then freeze what I don't use. This is just quinoa, a grated zucchini, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a four cheese blend. Um, it's Parmesan, Asiago, a couple of other things. I honestly don't remember what's in it. If I was thinking a little bit clearer, I would probably be able to tell you. Uh, so yeah, this is what I'm working on right now. Here we go. This is the blend that I'm using. Parmesan, Pecorino Romano, and Asiago. I was able to make eight fritters from the mixture. And now I'll put the plate in the fridge for a little while so these can firm up. Then I'll wrap them in cellophane, put them in, in bags, and freeze them. And I also made a filling for dumplings. And it's just a straight vegetable filling. I'm filling up my wonton wrappers now with the vegetarian uh, filling mixture I made. This is red cabbage, Chinese broccoli, bok choy, shredded carrot, water chestnuts, few other items, a little bit of flavoring, a little um, no salt, because the dipping sauces that I'll have will have a little bit of salt in them, so I don't want to make this overly salty. I'm using the Noisoya wonton wrappers, and all I'm doing is taking a small teaspoon of my filling, putting it into the center of the wonton wrapper, then I'm wetting the edges with a little bit of water, it's my little water glass. A little bit of water and then I'm folding this corner over to here and then I'm pressing to seal. This is my filled and folded wonton and what I'll do now is just fill up a few more wrappers until I use up the rest of the filling and then I will put these into a freezer bag, put them in the freezer obviously and then when I just want a quick meal I can take them out and put them into some ro rolling boiling water for two to three minutes just until they're defrosted and cooked through. The filling is already cooked so all I really need to worry about is just having it defrosted. I can also put these in the oven and then bake them for roughly five to ten minutes. If I do that I'll put a little egg wash on top just so these will get a, a little bit brown and a little bit crisp. But otherwise they're perfectly fine being boiled. Here's next week's forecast. Oh, I have to be out all day on Tuesday. That's going to stink. Oh. I don't know if you can see it, but it's raining sideways right now. If you look under the street light and a little bit to your right, you can just see the puddles. And it's lightning like crazy right now. I don't know if that's being picked up either.
right, well, I'm taking my laundry down to the laundry room, and in about 45 minutes, the cycle will be over, and I'll go downstairs and put it into the dryer. This is my laundry room. 